Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, we're in the shed today and um, got a bit of a sore back so I can't get out on the boat today but uh, I'm just going to show you a few things that the power button on your Apex and Solex units does. Anyway, there's about six useful things that'll do. Um, obviously, number one is turning the unit on and off. Um, we've just done that but I'm going to turn this camera around and uh, we're going to go through some of the things that the unit will do when you uh, have it up and running. All right, confirm. All right, let's turn this camera around. All right, so we've turned our unit on via the power button. That's the number one use, on and off, but there's a lot more to it than that. So let's hit the power button once, just press it. And um, at the top, number two use for uh, Using the power button is to bring up this menu. So you've got the backlight. So you could, depending on the time of day, you know, you might want to turn this down during the uh, early hours, the low light period, so you're not blowing out your night vision, uh, or you can turn it up. So that's number two. Uh, it's got a switch here. Um, night mode you can turn that on or off and it'll instantly dim it uh which is quite handy i prefer to you know use the uh backlight myself but that's number three um the touch screen so you can turn that off press confirm and you'll now your touch screen's off so it doesn't matter what i do here um it won't do it. So you might want to clean your screen or you may just want to disable that touch screen. Anyway, that's um, number four. We're just going to turn that... Oh, hang on. Now, we, now, once the touch screen's turned on, we've got to go and turn it back on manually. Now, um, if I was to close that out, now you can find your touch screen's working. So, anyway... Um, hit the power button again so standby sonar mode so you've got some choices up here where you can um, turn your different sonars off I've only got one on here um, so turn your local 2d sonar off leave your local sonar on or at the top all local sonar off so yeah anyway we'll go back again so that was number five, I think. Anyway, obviously you power off. Um, as well as pressing the button here, you can also go into the menu and press it and confirm. We're not going to turn it off just yet. And sonar. So when you press the sonar button down the bottom, you can turn your sonar pinging off. So if, you, if you're in the garage and you want to play around with your unit, you can you know turn that off there's no reason to have the sonar ping and i don't know i think the jury's out whether it does damage on your units or not but i just think it's a good idea not to run them while you're playing around in the garage but um and you've also got your sonar source so from there you can then get in and you know you can choose where you want your different sources and how you want them set up so whether it's your two, 2d imaging if you've got more than one transducer you can go in here and set all these up uh where you want them reading from so anyway that's a another great idea and um back to sonar so you can also turn your mega live pinging on or off and i believe if you have your mega 360 which i haven't got if you uh have your mega 360 set up then you can get in here and turn that off or on as well. So we're going to turn that off. So all our sonar, ping, sonar pingings is off at the moment. So we can go in and play as long as we want in the garage and uh, get familiar with our sounder. And yeah, anyway, um, I hope that helps. But um, we're going to go back here. And um, obviously the last one, is the power off so we're going to confirm that and then as you can see we're now shutting down so 
like I said, that'll work on all your Apex and Solex units. So I hope that helps. Give us a uh, thumbs up, a like, and uh, maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more info. But um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.